Welcome to the NVIDIA Insight Graphics 2018.5 Release Spotlight. In this release, we've added profiling support for the new Turing GPU architecture, and added DirectX ray tracing and copy engine visualizations to the GPU trace activity. You can download NVIDIA Insight Graphics for free in the links provided. NVIDIA's new Turing GPU architecture was announced at SIGGRAPH and GamesCon last month. Insight Graphics now fully supports the profiling of these GPUs in both the GPU trace and profiling activities. The range profiler can now be used to gain valuable insights on the throughput performance of your new Turing-based GPU. To access this view, select the profiling activity, launch your DirectX application, capture for live analysis, and open the range profiler. In this view, you can inspect the event ranges within your application, the top throughput limiters for each hardware unit, raw metrics, and much more. For more information about using the range profiler, please see our user guide linked in the description below. In addition to the range profiler, GPU Trace now visualizes the GPU occupancy for Turing-based GPUs. In this activity, we have also added the ability to view DirectX ray tracing warp occupancy. In this trace, we can see the red crosshatched areas denoting DXR usage within our renderer. In addition, we have added the ability to view the copy engine usage on Turing GPUs. When the copy engine line is active, we know that at least one copy engine within the GPU is active. In this trace, we can use the copy engine row to better understand why there are warp occupancy bubbles within our render. Thank you for watching. If you liked this spotlight and would like to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the NVIDIA GameWorks channel for the latest Insight Graphics updates.